What's up, guys? What's going on? It's Big Drizzy. Back with you with some more gear reviews. All right, we here on the Gear Wave channel as always, bringing you the best out of wear, obscure pieces, pieces just coming out, exclusives. All right, so you see here we got a nice little Columbia titanium piece. Yeah, I'm excited already. Here, take a look right here. It's on the website. All right, they're doing a sale right now for the men's out dry EX stretch hooded shell. All right, guys. 124 for a fully waterproof shell. All right. So here, take a look at it. Very nice. As you can see, a little water beating up on it right there. All right. Seam tape on the outside. Nice, nice, neat seam tape all around at the critical seams. All right. You have two little waist pockets here the backing is fleece lined a little bit and you have the netting here which adds a little extra breathability and you also have a napoleon pocket here with some mesh that also allows the inside to breathe all right so boom columbia has kind of you know turn this whole waterproof game on its ear a little bit and kind of you know did something revolutionary with their with their new jackets now with this out dry technology all right so anything that you see from columbia that has this out dry technology on it you know it's going to be uh their newest waterproof technology all right in a typical waterproof system you're going to have nylon fabric on the outside that's the external layer Underneath it, you're gonna have a very slim version of this waterproof membrane, all right? And behind that, you're gonna have the lining of the jacket, all right? So what they've done is they've cut out the middleman, or really the external layer, the outside layer. Usually what happens is, at, even with DWR, durable water repellent on the jacket, after prolonged uh, rain or wetness, the external fabric or nylon will start to wet out or the DWR in some cases you can even scratch it off it will degrade over time with dirt and just use so then it becomes ineffective and the rain and snow start to soak into the nylon of the jacket right and that makes the jacket heavy and that makes the jacket incapable of breathing optimally in the way that it should all right, so what they've done now, they've taken out the outer layer of the jacket and they've made a thicker version of the waterproof membrane and backed it, fused a breathable layer underneath, All right? So you don't ever, ever, ever have to worry about this outer membrane wetting out or the DWR wearing off. All right, and you can see everything is fully seam sealed. You have the tape on the outside instead of the inside, so inside is nice and comfortable. You have a nice little light fleece here. You also have some meshing here, which aid in breathability. Um, and I, you know, I really am intrigued by Columbia's take on this whole waterproof um, situation here. So let me put it on so you guys can see. I like the jacket. If you look at it online, some of Columbia stuff online looks one color on the site, and then when you get it in real life, it looks a little different. This jacket looks, um, it looks a little bit bluer. And when you get it in real life, it's the, the blue is kind of a little bit more subdued. All right? So just, um, you know, take that with a grain of salt when you are looking on Columbia. Uh, and then when you get to the store, order the piece. It may not be the exact, exact same color that you saw online. But this is how the jacket looks. Right. I wear an XL, men's XL. Columbia stuff is usually very roomy. This is a, a bit roomy, although the sleeves are a little bit uh, short and articulation in the sleeves isn't the greatest. And I 
that's the first thing that I notice. Raising my hands, moving my arms around. You can feel the fabric pulling here and pulling a little bit across the chest. So this may be geared towards maybe guys that may be a little bit uh, slimmer. Um, or guys that really like a, a more slim fit kind of jacket. Although this is not slim fit. But the cut is a little slimmer than traditional uh, Columbia jacket. Right, we have a nice zip up here. Comes up very nice. The hood is very nice. You have adjustability. I like what they did. I like what they did with the folds here. This is very nice. It's very easy. They have the little inside clip here. You just hold it, pull it on each side, and it's tight. All you have to do is adjust. The adjustment back here for the fore and the aft adjustment so that the hood brim is not in your face. But they did a very good job with this. I, I actually prefer this rather than having the single draw cord hanging down because that kind of flops around in the wind when the wind is blowing. This having it in a loop and having the pull here, you can pull both, tighten up really quickly, and cinch down if it starts coming down crazy. All right. Outdoor manufacturers, you guys got to pay attention to the hood. You guys making great jackets, but then when it comes to the hood, you got to fumble with the hood too much to get it right and, you know, pay attention to the hood. A system like this is, is very, very good, very easy to use, and it's effective every time. And just to loosen it, you're going to hold the two buttons, and you can pull it down or pull up on the brim. Perfect. All right. I really, because of just time-wise, didn't get to really test this in any downpours, but from what I've read and, uh, you know, seen, it does handle rain very, very, very well. I just wanted to give you guys a first look at it um, so you can, you know, see how the, how the jacket looks up close and personal. Online, there's not really many videos on this jacket, so, you know, I really want you guys to see the jacket see it up close you have draw cord hems here you can pull to tighten nice all right and columbia has different weights of this shell they have more heavier this is at the at the heavier more heavier end of the spectrum this is probably like a uh a early spring early fall rain jacket it is a bit thicker Columbia does have like a featherweight shell. I'm gonna have that review for you very soon, which is a bit more is a lot lighter than this. The face fabric is super light, um, and it's more geared towards maybe early summer, late spring when the temperatures get up into the mid 50s, 60s. But you really need a waterproof piece out in the rain, and you don't want it to be too heavy. All right. So, if you have any questions about the jacket any comments please let me know all right but i mean if the cut on the jacket if the cut on the arms and the chest weren't as tight i would probably love this jacket um you know the rubber some people are gonna like it some people may not but you're really buying the jacket i think it looks cool with the seam tape on the outside it looks really techy of course titanium columbia's top of the line gear for the outdoors all right so please hit us up at the gear wave channel let us know what's going on subscribe follow all right and we'll be back with more reviews peace